Hello everyone and welcome back. We're under a frost advisory tonight so the main thing I'm going to want to get covered up is just the uh, tomatoes. I'm not too worried about everything else but I wanted to get these harvested. We haven't harvested them in about a week and I'm going to have at least a five gallon bucket full here. Freezer is getting pretty full of them so when it comes time for canning day it'll be nice because then I can uh, get the freezers cleaned out a little bit. In this video here, I'm pretty much going to be picking tomatoes and getting the Ice Castle Fish House finished up, getting ready and hooked up to the truck because not tomorrow is when I'll get all that stuff finished, but the following day have a doctor appointment in the morning at 9.30 and uh, meeting with the surgeon on my upcoming hernia surgery. I get back here and it'll be time to leave and do our three and a half hour drive south. Three plants and I already had a five gallon bucket full overflowing. Wow. I'm not even up to the Romas, but they're, not all the Romas are done, but there's a bunch of them. Two more weeks. That's all I'm going to pick of these tonight. The other ones can hopefully survive the frost if we get it. Oh crap, there's some in there that need to be picked. But anyway, there's a lot of them here. And a lot more here that need to ripen. I have three really nice pumpkins this year. And I don't know about all these acorn squash. Hopefully they're going to be good. Some of them I can see are not, but the plants are just dying off. It's just that time of year. All right, bring it on. I had to work today and then this afternoon I went to the artesian well, filled up two of those five gallon water containers that we have with the, we put the pump on top. So we'll bring that. Tomorrow I'll make sure that all the, I've got full 30 pound gas cylinders up by the garage. Get everything uh, ready to go. Doe and the buck are out there playing around. They were eating by the block. Melissa just went out to the, take care of the cats. And <laughs> I see jerky. Good morning everybody. 30 degrees, frost covering everything. Good thing we covered up those tomatoes.
how I've been out here for a couple hours, taking stuff out that we don't need, bringing stuff in that we do need, getting everything, batteries and stuff, you know, distributing the weight. You kind of want 60% up front, 40% in the back. And just trying to get things ready. And then I opened up this door to put, what was I going to put in there? Oh, the baking pans. And that door was loose already and the previous people had glued it. And it fell apart. So it was like, oh great. Now I have it outside. I re-glued it, clamped it correctly. And uh, yeah, I can get that put back in there in about a half hour. I mean, I don't want to use it much for 24 hours, but starting to look better in here anyway. Getting it cleaned up. I drained that fresh water tank. If you guys remember in the last Fish House Camper video, I filled it up, bleached it, drained it, filled it up. So I just drained it again and then ran the water heater dry also because that was that definitely smelled like chlorine because of the bleach. So now I'm going to fill that back up and get the water heater filled back up. And then I think we're going to hook it up to the truck. I still have to vacuum in here, but got to make sure it still goes up and down. <laughs> it's been a couple months since I lifted it. Bathroom was back in order after I did all that plumbing stuff. I have the little pump that pumps the water charging up. Melissa had bought a couple of these. They're like an under cabinet light and they just fit on with magnets. So I'm charging these up anyway. It'll be really nice using that under the sink because it gets a little dark at night. I did not film much today. I'm frustrated. I, a bunch of the floor got wet in there and I had to get that up with the shop vac and then I got fans in there. And now I just plugged it in, pulled it forward. I can't get the lights to work. Not, I can't get them to work right. Turn on the turn signal, my running lights come on. <laughs> it's eight o'clock at night. I have absolutely had it with today. I guess we'll come back at it tomorrow and uh, Eventually, I'll get there. Well, we're having a change of plans. With all the stuff that's going wrong with that trailer for me, trying to, like, I got the water that leaked in there because you guys remember in a previous video when I was showing the fish house, probably the first or second time, there's a line, you can drill your hole in the ice, and there's a line that I can shove through the hole, or you could put it into a five gallon, you know, water container, and then I can turn the pump on and it'll suck water out of there 
instead of out of the fresh water tank. And the reason why that was added in was because when you go ice fishing, you don't really want to have your fresh water tank filled up when you're going to and from because it'll freeze. This way you can just pull the water right out of the lake or pull it out of a five gallon container. Anyway, the valve on that was not shut. And I don't know why that water hadn't been leaking for the last week and a half or however long I've had water in that in that fresh water tank but when I lifted it or something happened there so that it started siphoning out and it was just running out I literally took the shop back and that's a pretty big shop back and sucked the water out and I got about six inches in the bottom of the shop back and now there's been fans on there everything's dry I mean it's green plywood bottom it's the indoor outdoor carpeting nothing was damaged but obviously I we have never went and did uh, the boondocking, you know, or camping without a water hookup. Uh, power hookup isn't a big deal because, you know, we have the generator. So anyway, before we go down and go to an event that we wanted to go there because it would have been fun to see the other fish houses, but the music that's playing there really, I don't know. I don't even know who they are. And we kind of wanted to see the vendors, but it's a little over three hour drive one way and I don't have the lights working. I need to fix them. I had my doctor appointment this morning for hernia with the surgeon and now I'm going to be going to a different, I have to give an appointment at a different place because I have a bilateral, anyway they want to do the robotic surgery and they don't do it at that hospital. So anyway, what we are going to do is we're going to have lunch here. I'm going to take and set this camper up in the back pasture and we are going to do a backyard camping just so I can get used to everything with the camper when it's not hooked up to regular water, regular sewer, and everything. A little bit of a learning curve I need to learn before I start taking it out into the public. And right now I got burgers on the gas grill and Melissa's making some french fries in the oven. After that I'll start getting things set up. I was just out here before I fired up the grill and I was watching Joni and the puppy. Nobody has come forward on the puppy yet. I went to the police station everything and Nobody has come forward. Hey, no, don't eat that grass. And anyway, I was sitting here watching them play, and it's just so funny. Another reason for not going down there also is we weren't expecting to have a puppy here and the puppy has to be brought out constantly because it's not potty trained. I mean it, it's it's pretty good but it's not perfect. It doesn't do anything in the kennel but if we have it in the camper you're not allowed to bring them into the vending area so they got to stay in there. Anyway I don't know it just everything was pointing towards you know what don't do this. Plus, I'll be around here. We can kind of hybrid camp out there, get some stuff done around here. I got duck hunting coming up in about a week. Almost done.
breathe. That's right, people. I breathe for the first time. Well, we're just in there watching the big sea. Turned off the rooftop air conditioner and actually turned on the Eco, Eco Flow Wave 2. Uh, put it on heat because it was getting chilly in there once it started raining. I think this is going to blow through though. 7.30 right now. It's just rained all night. It's about a quarter to ten. We watched another, well we watched several episodes of the show that we were watching. And then it's time to uh, go to bed and it's like let's just go sleep in the house and tomorrow we'll start again when we can have a fire. I kind of like this camping, <laughs> camping in the backyard. Well, I have not filmed anything today. Just been hanging out with Melissa. We switched out what was, or put stuff into the freeze dryer and got a bunch of tomatoes cup, cut up and put into the freezer for the next batch in the freeze dryer. And now we've been hanging out here for, ah oh man, I bet it's been two and a half hours waiting for this show that we're watching the series to get done. Every episode I think, oh, that's it. And now there's one more. <laughs> I got a fire going out here because it's not raining and hopefully we'll get to sit by it tonight, but I don't know. We go to bed around 10.30 or 11. So I guess we'll wait and see how many more episodes. Hopefully we'll get to sit by it. Otherwise we'll have to do it tomorrow. The generator runs this thing really nice. Melissa went inside with the dogs. It's chilly out tonight. I'll have to look at my phone and see what the actual temperature is. Just cooking up a couple of burgers on the fire. They said not to cook directly on this grate, so I put one of my other grates on top of it. This is a really nice fire pit. Burns everything pretty slow, but still a nice heat. Good morning everybody. We slept out here last night. The first time I slept on that three inch foam mattress topper we put on that back, the bed area there, and that was really nice. I mean, we've been out here and laid there and watched movies and stuff, but never never slept there and it was really nice. It's uh, 40, 43 degrees right now. And I, just for the heat in there, I turned on last night the Eco Flow Wave 2. And instead of putting it on the air conditioning part, put it on the heat. And I set it on 68 degrees, and it's 67 degrees in there right now. It's pretty nice. Melissa and the dogs are still all sleeping. The little puppy I brought in a little kennel and put a, a small dog bed in there. It kind of wraps up on the back side. And even before... We shut all the lights off last night. Uh, the little puppy was already in there. <laughs> so cute. They're just all crashed out. This little fireplace thing worked really, really good. It's amazing how slowly the wood burns in one of these. Really efficient, it seems like. Like when I'm up at the tent, you put the wood on there. Of course, this was some really nice hardwood in here, but 
it seems when you have like a fire ring, it burns faster than one of these where they're off the ground. I just shut off the EcoFlow Wave 2 and I didn't realize that last night I didn't have it plugged in. I had unplugged it because it takes up both plug-ins there and I had plugged in the fan earlier and because it got it was kind of warm in here in the afternoon so we had that going so this thing ran that heater all night it was down to it was the battery was like at least half dead like you know see how it's flashing it was down to the second one but uh, yeah, so that was pretty neat that it ran the heater all night on the battery. Melissa walked back to the house to get Chunky his medication. He has to take a pain pill each day, twice a day, and thyroid medication, which he's been on for a few years, at least two years. And Chunky has cancer, so what is it called? It's like the kind where you get the, a lump. He's got two lumps and I think two weeks from now they're gonna operate and take those out but he has to be on pain medication or else he limps really bad. What are you doing Chunky? Oh she's got the puppy on a leash. <laughs> First time. <laughs> You don't like that leash? Not at all. You better get used to it. <laughs> you pouting? Yup. For lunch today I'm going to do New York strip steaks over the fire. And then I think I'm going to do some fried potatoes. And these reds that I just picked should be perfect for that. See if I have any that the bugs got to. Cut that part off. I better show you too, Chunky, or they're going to ask me, where's Chunky? What are you doing? She's a solid puppy, though. She'll knock you down. Right. Yeah, I see her run, like at a dead run, and just whack into Joni. It's your mama's boy, huh? Yeah, it's your mama's boy. What? That was friendly as someone. Where the world's gone? The turkey gone, Bardo. That pie there from the river.
Thank you. dark clouds. Yeah, that works pretty good. Yeah. We watched the first Tarzan movie, or the two of them on that disc, and now on this disc, which is in the same, it was a two disc set, if I push play on this, this operation is currently prohibited for this disc. I've been finding that happening more and more and more. Does anybody else have that trouble? Is it my DVD player? Or what's the deal? I mean, I can see if they were two different they both came in the same outside, so they both should work the same. Later, so I got a hold of this, I messaged back and I said, look, because I didn't know what was going to be going on with surgery. I said, um, I have a wood problem. Get out of there. <laughs> just putting on a couple of burgers. The night is just about done. For those of you that watch all the videos and know that we were watching that series, The Big C, and it finished last night, of course, like I said, but I asked Melissa what she would give that 
series and she said a 10 out of 10. I would give it probably an 8.5 out of 10, 8 to 8.5 because there was a lot of things that like they started and then stopped. Just storylines like that didn't go anywhere. But I mean it was an awesome series. For me to give something an 8.5 out of 10 that's not Star Trek, <laughs> it's kind of rare. Good morning, everybody. Melissa, she's back asleep. She was up a little bit earlier. I've been up for quite a while, let the dogs out. They went back in there excitingly and went back to sleep. <laughs> I just did the dishes and I washed off the counters. Melissa was gonna do all that, but she's sleeping and I was bored, so I thought I might as well do something. Kind of a foggy morning. My dad, he's up at the cabin because grouse hunting opened and he messaged me this morning and said it's real foggy up there also. Joni, let's go home. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. We really had a fun time out there and kind of learned everything about dry camping or whatever. So, yeah, I can't say that was a bad time. Glad we did not go to Lancastle. Four days from now, I'll be up in duck camp. I'll see you guys on the next video.